Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm not the only one as you can see. Black Rose is taking a new look I would call it. Uh, well, but it will be inviting a lot of people, not only me, but a lot of people to be making the videos. Today I have with me Sister Sarah over here and hi. Yeah, Sister Sarah is here to help us with to talk about happiness. She actually has her own YouTube channel. Please do check it out. Subscribe, share to a friend, like her videos and comment. Mind blowing okay, comment. She has amazing ideas and awesome ideas also. Okay, we're talking about we'll be talking about happiness and success today. And I have a few questions I would want to ask her. Uh, Sister Sarah, when you hear about happiness and success these two terms, what do they mean to you? Like we can say happiness is a feeling of joy or good fortune. While success we can say like is the outcome or the result after an achievement. Yeah, you can actually call it that. Happiness is the feeling of joy emotionally, physically, spiritually, anyhow. It's that is happiness and success is the achievement of goals, aims, whatever you call it. So there's this thing that people say that happiness is really elusive. Do you think it's true? Mm. Happiness is an idea. So it can be elusive at the first place. But since like it can be elusive since we don't even think of it. But the moment you start thinking of it, it can be elusive because uh, like you think or you hope you find the happiness in the even if it's if you didn't find it now Maybe in the next you can find it. Yeah, people change to look for happiness in the, the next, next the next the next Let's take for example. We're all students here and we think that school is stressing our lives and all that Yeah, school is a bit stressing. I must agree to that because I hate school Yeah, but <laughs> happiness. Um, sorry. We tend to see that it's only when I graduate that I will be happy Okay, now you've graduated. Okay, let me find a job, then I'll be happy. Okay, then you find a job and you're not happy with your job. Happiness starts from within. If you feel happiness from within, if you tend to appreciate the little things that you have, that is where you start to be happy. But if you try to look to seek happiness in some in things around you, outer in the outer self, I wouldn't say I will say that you're not finding happiness but something different. Maybe satisfaction or contentment. And this all they come from within. The moment you feel satisfied or contented from within, then you will surely be happy. And the moment you begin to appreciate things around you and the little things, those little things that matter in your life, that is when you choose to be happy. Which one is the general perception of happiness and success from people around at all, let's say from the society. What do you think is that? Happiness to general society would most likely be having a good life where you have all the luxury, like the luxurious uh, things you, you you want and like um the concept of um happiness is misleading us because we like in such a way that we think if you just cross a new path or like the new achievements will be happy well that's yeah. not this we see that it's when you reach a certain level in life that you only be happy or you're successful yes. that's what it might bring you the happiness but not that kind of happiness you are envisioning to have happiness nah, I mean, you, you want to have yeah when people think about success they see that this person who has graduated who has this degree and he has he has a job and he has a very happy family people think that success comes from luxury and all that what do you think success is from no uh, like we are all convinced that the moment you are successful you'll be happy which I'm totally against that because the moment that wow or that ovation you 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 get after that achievement, the moment that wow and ovation went off, that's the moment that happiness will ha happiness will, will stop. stop. Yeah, from there I think from that moment that all this ovation that you get from people and all the whatever it is you get from them, the moment they stop it, if you were to be half your journey, if you were to be half your journey in life you let's say you are halfway you've not reached that they wouldn't give you that ovation but because you've achieved something in your life that yes it's a part of being successful let's say you've graduated from college yeah it's a part of being successful but what i think success truly means is being happy with what you have, have. and
yeah the moment you begin to feel to be happy with what you're doing that is when i think that you're successful because everyone has its own definition of success people think maybe some people think maybe it's when you have the fame the power the money that you're successful but some people think that it's when you're they say success is the result of that achievement or aim or goal that you have yeah everyone has reached that limit the moment you're happy with what you're doing i think you're successful and then the next question is most happiness and success go hand in hand like people say like most they go hand in hand like this no that's um they mustn't go hand in hand because uh, many people are successful in life but they are not happy because the happiness lies within you yeah so if you are successful and you are not happy like your the inner your inner self you are not happy like they mustn't go hand in hand because many people some people are poor like they are just struggling to sustain this life yeah. or they are living in a happy family and they are they're happy yeah that from the general perception you see this family then they're, they're not successful as people perceive but they are happy with each other so you're saying that success and happiness, happiness. do not go hand in hand. hand yes and you know that there was this survey that was carried i saw it on the internet that most people that attempt suicide they are successful people people that they've made it in life like they're billionaires you can call them millionaires and all that but they just want to they they just want to die there's nothing left for them because they're not happy they suffer from all this depression and anxiety so success and happiness lies all within you i would say success lies with the things around you and happiness lies within you but when you truly choose to be successful and happy is when you feel that you're contented and you're, su- you're satisfied with all that you have and you appreciate the little things that you have in life that is when you choose to be grateful and that is it and so i think we sorry before we go any final words um, about happiness anything happiness, success happiness is happiness. an idea like it's a level made by people to make their lives easy but mm-hmm. it does exist true happiness to me is self-contentment to laugh at the small thing around you and to remember the old memories to share the joy to uh, share the joy and like think about the, the your loved ones your loved ones being it their family or friends and to thank the almighty for the blessings he's sure you in your life okay thank you sister sara thank you so much for honoring thank our you invitation too. i'm glad to be here with you <laughs> sister ricky <laughs> <laughs> so everyone please go to her youtube channel subscribe like comment share do everything that you show some love please and also if you like this video give us a thumbs up comment down below to let us know what you think and then you can share it to your friends family everyone around share it and let the wisdom go viral thank you bye